Welcome back. It's damp and it's dark down here, but at least we have shotgun shells. And the, the exit's right here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so much. That's going to be really handy. Now we can just exit whenever we feel like we're in danger. Hmm. Nothing, eh? Ah, but that way is blocked. Right to our right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, what? What are you? A shadow spider? Oh, man. We don't have any lights, do we? It's a faint shadow of a huge spider lurking in my periphery. They tend to dwell in groups and usually stay at depths beneath level 5. They appear to move slowly. Okay, then. Uh, we re <laughs> we have uh, about three turns of an electric lantern. I don't think that's quite going to be enough. Ah... Uh, I wonder if all visible enemies would be a shadow. I really... Let's try it. Yes, but... It's... Well, just try shooting it. Wow, I can actually hit a shadow. Okay. I, I never actually tried shooting a shadow before. Figured I might just uh, make... Well... Oh boy, another one. Who who are you? Just a Oi. No, I'm paralyzed. I fire I hear a I am is struck by a roaring blast. Ah. You know what? Let's try dark bolt. And again. Oh, jeez, there's an even worse one right behind him. So, I guess this was the guy who... Uh... <laughs> who... Because I am Mason. Let's get a good look at him. During the Salem Witch Trials of 1692, an old woman by the name of Keziah Mason was arrested for her suspicious behaviour and seeming insight into other worlds. In her testimony to the judge, she, she confessed to having signed her name in the Black Book of Azathoth and of her secret name of Nahab. She later disappeared mysteriously from Salem. She is described as having a bent back, long nose, and shriveled chin, and has a croaking voice. She has an animal familiar, the rat Brown Jenkin, which she trusts to carry messages between her and the devil. She feeds this creature on her blood. Ah, classic witch. <laughs> She's normally found beneath level two. Ah, oh, boy, can we quickly... Oh, actually, could we throw a potion of blindness at her? That might really help. Oh, wait, no, not that. Uh, throw. Yes, she's blinded. She looks healthier. Quick, now's our chance. Oh, hi there, Brown Jenkin. Uh, t uh, come on. Oh, come on. What are you... That object, no larger than a good-sized rat, and quaintly called by the townspeople Brown Jenkin, seemed to have been the fruit of a remarkable case of sympathetic herd delusion, for in 1692 no less than eleven persons had testified to glimpsing it. There were recent rumours, too, with a baffling and disconcerting amount of agreement. Witnesses said that it had long hair and the shape of a rat, but that its sharp-toothed, bearded face was evilly human, while its paws were like tiny human hands. It took messages betwixt old Keziah and the devil, and was nursed on the witch's blood, which it sucked like a vampire. Its voice was a kind of loathsome titter, and could speak all languages. H.P. Lovecraft, Dreams in the Witch House. <laughs> Normally found beneath level two, naturally. Oh boy. If we had more spirit, I would 
repulsive, croaking voice. Oh, man. T quit chortling! <laughs> if we had more spirit, I would teleport away right now. Oh! A wolf appears! Oh. Well, of course I spotted Brown Jenkin. Oh, can we close that? Give us time to reload this. Great. Uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, potions of vitality would be really nice to quaff. If we get hit again, then I'm going to do that, definitely. Hmm. Well, what else can we do? We have a smoke grenade and six shotgun shells. I really want to destroy Keziah Mason and her brown Jenkin. It's a rat thing. Yeah. Just, just because. Oh, oh, jeez, it's a worm mess. No, why? I. Yes, good. <laughs> I knew shotguns were the right thing to use against worm masses. What? Mold. This can't be good. At least it's uh. At least it's slow, right? It's only mold. Sickly growth thriving in damp areas. It produces toxic spores which it stores in its slimy heads. I shouldn't get too close then, I guess. Okay, the mold is destroyed. Using up all my shotgun shells on these things. But... I think it's worth it. We don't, we don't have any thrown weapon, which is a shame. Blaster device is now shoddy. I'm going to use that as soon as I see her. I really hope it doesn't explode in our hands. Okay, this is the right time. Wrong button. Yes, she was hurt! Now is our chance. We just need to... ...seem to have damaged it. Because our amazing is paralysed, yes. Let's see, if we use Dark Bolt, that should get her. Oh, yeah! Oh, Getting revenge, are you? You won't have any luck. <sighs> okay, well, we're out of ammo for that. <laughs> what a shame. Just got to trust our machete now. Ooh. You tried that. Don't know what it did, though. Ah, another potion of vitality. Very helpful. Oh, and just in case... Spike gun. Hmm. Nah. Oh, shadow spider. Oh, it's more than one. No, I'm not. I'm not going to the shadow room. We do not have enough light to take them all on. Oh boy, mold. The mold is growing. Uh oh. <laughs> is there any uh, other way through? Oh, I didn't know mold actually grew like that. Blaster device is breaking. It <laughs> oh man, this is kind of going to feel like a waste if I use it. Hmm. No, hold on. Let me grab that gun. If I grab the gun, yeah, I think I'll uh, drop the Colt. I'll drop that too. <laughs> oh, oh, geez, the mold really grew quickly. Ah, <coughs> oh, oh no, I'm poisoned. <coughs> I'm suffering from poison. <coughs> oh, no way. Oh jeez, we can't we can't go that way. I was hoping that I'd be able to shoot them away fast enough, but they've grown far too fast. <laughs> ah, this is disturbing. 
No longer poison, though. I think. <laughs> You're lousy. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think we're just going to drink a potion of descent. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad we have those at least. Well, no more spikes. No more ranged anything, really. Save for the potion of poison. I'll just put that in there just in case. Well, you have to keep throwing knives. I'll put them in there. <laughs> they won't do much at this level, but hey, what can you say? Let's just pause for a little while. Drink our potions of vitality if we actually need them in the combat. Ah, two more potions of descent. Wow, perhaps we could make it all the way to the bottom of the place with all these potions. Ah, we really should drop something. Oh, I forgot I had all these manuscripts, didn't I? I think I'll drop the blaster device. Uh, drop another thing. I'm gonna drop that. That should do. Nope. It's okay, it's only rad things. Oh, ho there. Okay, dark bolt time. Good. Another one. Ah, persistent. That may or may not have been a good use of our sanity. Okay. Take this, then at least we'll have something. Hmm. But what should we drop? Ah, drop the smoke grenades. Do for now. rat thing. Took a while to get over here. T took a while for anyone to hit. Okay, chest is locked. Cabinet's open. Oh, stick of dynamite, yeah! Can always use those. Another machete here. Oh, a strange device here. Now that's going to become in handy. Kick these open. Good. No traps. No traps. Throwing knives. We'll pick them up for now. Ah, it seems futile. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll drop my Tommy gun. Yeah. That should be okay. Because if. We'll probably uh, encounter more Tommy guns if we ever see more ammo for it anyway. Oh. Oh, hello. Ah, no. You will not club me to death. Yes. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, jeez. Potion of Vitality. Strong. Yes. Good. I'll get some of these spikes while I'm at it. No need for the rest of the stuff. 
Oh. Another asbestos suit. Okay. Stuck, eh? Ah, oh, gas. <laughs> it's okay, it's only fear gas. We have a good dungeon keeper down here. Oh, dart. Ah. Dart traps, huh? Poison. Well, we'll just use our medical bag to... No, we can't do that. I'm a fool for thinking that I can do that when we've tried it before. Poison should go away soon, shouldn't it? According to last time. Burst of gas. You know, we should just drink a potion of vitality. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to finish exploring a bit more of this level before we go on. An axe, nah. Okay. Yeah, now is the time to get out. Aha! Wasn't a trap below. Let's do one more floor. Okay. Oh! Rocks, huh? I guess they didn't, uh, correctly wall these parts. Or oh, it's new. Oh boy, that's an actual deep one. <laughs> deep ones are misbegotten creatures of the deep. A uh, deep one appears as a, a abominable crossbreed of a human and amphibian. Its fins are merged with twisted arms and legs. Its bent back is crowned with a long, spiny frill. They can breathe both air and water. In the timeless depths of the sea, the Deep One's alien, arrogant lives are coldly beautiful, unbelievably cruel, and effectively immortal. Deep Ones may be worshipped by humans with whom they are regularly interbreed. They tend to dwell in hordes and usually stay adepts beneath level 5. They appear to move at normal speed. Thank goodness for that. Okay, let's try shooting it. Oh, whoa! It throws a javelin. So that's the kind of technology they have. Oh, oh man. I don't like. Oh, jeez, they do dwell in hordes. You know what? Summon creature. Yeah, perfect place to summon it to. Excellent. A black ooze and we learn that incantation by heart. Come on. Come on. You're not that tough. Come on. Darn, they are that tough. Or at least very good at dodging. Another potion of vitality. Come on. You hold him off. We'll keep shooting. Come on, we have 55% chance to hit. Hit them. Use is disintegrated. Well, summon creature again. It's a shadow. There. Can't beat a shadow now, can you? Come on, shadow, go get them. Get them good. There's no ammo loaded. Well, yeah. No, you don't. Oh, man. So many. Just so many. <laughs> Quickly switch to the machete. Oh man. Uh, how do I just teleport? That's four to eight. Uh, I really should have thought this through a little bit more, or maybe thought about running a little bit earlier. Hmm. You know, maybe we should run. Whoa. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. What can we possibly do right now that could possibly save our lives? We could try using a strange device. That probably has more chance of actually working than we could use a potion of descent. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm. 
You know what? Let's use the strange device. See what it does. See if it's another device of blasting. And then we'll drink a potion of descent. No, it's completely alien. Of course not. Why did I even consider that? <laughs> Let's just descend. Oof. At least it saved our life for now. Okay. Well, we didn't get to save, so we'll have to go on. Oh, great. The next floor is right there. The next disco. Let's try reading it. No, oh, my spirit is drained, but I feel healthier. Well, that's okay. We regenerate spirit faster than health anyway. Uh, that can be useful. Nope, nope, nope. That's, uh, stuck, eh? Come on. Ah. Oh, man. This isn't helping. Come on. Yes. Let's completely reload our spike gun. <laughs> Never thought I'd actually find quite as much of a use for the spike gun as I j did just then. At least I got a few of them, huh? Oh, man. You're gonna... You're, you're going to keep on doing that, so I'll stand back. I'm going to say that it's only one of them behind there. Come on. Ah, there's more than one. I'm going to fire whatever it is. It, ah, a dust vortex? What is this? Spending force of destruction. It seems to move with some manner of purpose. They tend to dwell in small groups and usually stay at depths beneath level 7. They appear to move at normal speed. Well... <laughs> dust? Oh, boy! <laughs> I guess the dust blew everywhere after it exploded. Just gonna keep running away here. Yes. Oh, oh no! You get away from me! Haha! <laughs> I kick the dust vortex! But I'm blinded! Just fire at it! No! It engulfs me! Hmm. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, we're just gonna descend again. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Oh, great! A flare gun! <laughs> Perfect if there are any shadows. Not while an enemy is near! Not while an enemy is near! We still have a potion of descent, though. <laughs> okay, what are you? At least a firehound has not seen us yet. This extremely aggressive canine seems to be part corporeal and part fire. It breathes searing flames. They tend to dwell in small groups and usually stay at depths beneath level 8. They appear to move fast. Oh, man. You know what? If we can switch fast enough, I wonder if we can kill it in one hit. Nope. <laughs> A potion of descent. <laughs> Sheesh. All this just in the name of survival. You know what? Close that. <sighs> ah, refreshing. Oh, our fountain's dry. Dry. You know what? Our armor's broken, so we may as well wear this. Guess that might have been one of the reasons why we were taking so much damage. Oh! Okay, who are you? Coldest Priest. Well, then, I know that I should shoot you. Get a bit closer, he hasn't seen us yet. That should be good. Aha! Any takers? Uh oh. Come on. Yes. More 
iron spikes. Wow. <laughs> Completely reliant on unconventional weaponry here. Dagger. Potion of Descent. <laughs> Our saviors! Iron suit. <laughs> well, I wore you before, so I think I'll wear you again. It'll make us slower and everything else, but <laughs> well, nothing tried, nothing gained. What are you? You're a bloated corpse. Oh no! I want to. I want to shoot you. That's right. Stay away. It's more like it. Yes, yeah, fast and and <laughs> you died because you struggled. Don't struggle. Just die. Ah, that way's blocked. <laughs> oh. Okay, wolves or something. A ghoul. An another ghoul. <laughs> Why can I not hit it? Okay, a ghoul is paralyzed. I'll keep its friends at bay for a moment. I need to deal with these before I can uh, safely. Ah. Uh, you know what? Summon the creature. Go get him, slime! Or ooze, or whatever you are, your putrid ooze. Need to just have long enough to treat my wounds here. Medical bag. No! <laughs> I'm diseased. Didn't treat it in time. Oh man. I didn't reload. The ghoul is also diseased. <laughs> Great! I'm glad that I can spread it around like that, unless my putrid ooze did that. That's. Uh, oh well. Well, a manuscript of Dark Bolt would be handy. Great. Phew. Oh man, another one. Great. Give us time to reload. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. More time to reload. Oh man. Hit it. We only have 35% chance to hit with that. Actually, reload it. Reload it. They're not doing that much damage. <laughs> Good, it's paralyzed. My sanity is slipping though. Whew. Insanity draws near. I struggle not to fall into a stupor. Whoa! I fainted. Oh boy. First time that's happened. First time I've been at 24% insanity. Well, let's uh, have a look. Hopefully it's now a ghoul-free room. Uh, although, we are diseased. It's dark, I'm not going in there. A flare gun, but I'm just saving that for shadows. Oh, another flare gun! I'll take the flare. Dagger, 1d4 plus 1. Great! That's the exit. Well, we went insane a bit, so we'll continue exploring for just a while longer. Despite the amount of stairs that we've seen today, we haven't actually used that many. Okay, that's a normal 1d4 dagger. Yeah, dark in there. Nothing in here. Okay then. Well, down the staircase we go to save. <laughs> well, we narrowly avo avoided death many times. To oh boy, there's always got to be a final hurdle, hasn't there? Fire vortex. Oh jeez, that's even worse than a dust cloud or whatever it was. Spinning force of fire and destruction. It seems to move with some manner of purpose. They tend to dwell in small groups, and usually stay at depths beneath level 12. They appear to move at normal speed. 
Okay then. Thankfully, our spirit is still strong. So, Dark Bolt. Paralyzed. Great. Uh, do it again. And now, try shooting it. Oh, it burns. We're burning. Ah, but there's just water over there. Oh, just in time. Just in time. Oh, man. <laughs> so many close scrapes. So many. I don't think we're... Oh, great, we're not diseased. I have a feeling that we are going to die soon. Yeah, 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 I know, we're going insane, but... What can you really do about that? Just wait a bit longer... It'll be fine... Just enough time to restore our HP completely before going down. Okay! Thank you, everyone! <laughs> it's going to get intense, and we don't really have that many more resources. I hope we run into quite a few shadows, though. I just hope we find another electric lantern as well. That'll be nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now!